You have a cell phone. Christine, you have a cell phone. You have each other's password? I don't even have a passcode. He can snoop if he wants. There's nothing yeah, on there but naked pictures of me, which I all send all to him. Please don't ever lose your phone. <laughs> I know, right? Bonjour, I'm Simon Marcel, romance expert. As a Frenchman, I love to talk love. J'aime parler d'amour. So I'm pulling couples off the streets and into my bed at the Broadway Mall in New York to get uncomfortably candid about their relationships. Have you ever been on a date but the person had their phone on the whole time? Yes. Did you say anything? I did not say anything, but I did not go on a second date. Deal breaker. If you're checking Facebook while, like, on a date with it's someone... It's probably not a very good yeah. date. One girl I met it started out okay. You know, we had a, a drink and stuff, and then she was just back on her phone. I think she may have even been on her match profile. She was on a match profile I think she was even... looking at other dudes. Yeah. If you are on a date and somebody whips out their phone, how do you handle that? The rule for me is we go to dinner, we put the phone down. Whether it's family dinner, whether it's a date, whether it's two friends. We talk to each other, we don't talk to our phone. Some people take it to the extreme. Even during the ooh la if you hear ding, and you can't wait to see who's the text from. There was a time it was actually with you. I kept looking over at Spotify. We try to keep them off the bed. But I think there's radiation coming out. Usually we'll put the phone on like, do not disturb. Oh, that, I like that. My brother happened to call, and I wanted to get out of the situation so bad <laughs> that I lied. And I have to come to you now? And my brother was like, what are you talking Just about? Just to get out? To get out. Of what? Of an ooh la la. 50% of American people finds that the cell phone is hurting the relationship by taking too much time from the partner. I was younger and she was way light years ahead of me. You were not ready for that? No, I wasn't. As we say in France, il n'y a pas d'amour sans preuve d'amour. There is no love without proof of love. Au revoir. As a Frenchman, I love to talk love. J'aime parler d'amour. So I'm pulling couples off the streets and into my bed at Chicago's Block 37 to get uncomfortably candid about their relationships.